Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, people, let me get situated here. I gotta close. Alright, gotta set up shop. You know how it is. Back in the building, give you another lecture. You, you know who it is already. Like, here's what I come to find out about you folks. You folks aren't stupid. But it is, is a lot of you just, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of you want, like, like me, you want the knowledge. And it's out there. But some of you are afraid to speak because maybe how you're viewed or how you're looked upon or maybe you're afraid that what you're saying is not right. Let me tell you something. Doing this right here, this is not hard to do. Get yourself a camera and voice your opinion. Because how can we know what you're thinking if you don't voice your opinion? Now I understand that some people can't do it because of their job. We can't, like some people are in their contracts and this and that, I understand that. But the majority of you people have to speak out. If you see wrong and let it slide, you're cooperating in the wrong itself. So, that being said, let me get off my moral soapbox, which I have a few, few morals apparently. So, let's go. Today we'll talk about a situation in uh, Europe. The Euros, across the pond. Well, over there, their elections have been shook. Or they are, their politicians or their, their conservative and liberal politicians are shook. Because you have a lot of these independent little parties gaining some momentum now. Like, they're starting to reveal, like, the elections reveal the cracks in these, in these, in the, in the European Union, in the countries itself. Uh, it's contra the contrast that Europe is showing is it's starkly, you know, it's becoming, it's becoming serious. It is. I mean, you know, there's, there's all these financial meltdowns and, and over there where basically where everything kicked off around the world. It's showing how countries who are doing well don't want to bail out countries who aren't doing well and they want more countries, other countries to take more responsibility for their own problems and which makes sense by the way I mean no country like if I'm an American if, if I it's like like the, if I mess up I shouldn't be bailed out because I messed up like the housing thing contractually wise I understand to a point but at the same time I understand you need to read a contract I can't bail you out because you refuse to read the contract because your payments were a two twenty five a month, then within the next three years or next two to three years they bloomed up to you know twelve hundred. That's not my fault for not reading that's my fault for not reading the contract if that happened to me. But I know to read the contract and like I said, where I live right now, in Ohio, they were doing a lot of that housing stuff. They were building houses left and right out here with the BS balloon payment contracts. And I, I looked at one, and me and my ex, this is when we were together, we were thinking about buying a house. We looked at that, and we saw the terms. I saw how much we were paying, and it was good at first, I'm not going to lie. But then I saw down the road, I think it was in like a year, two years, a year and a half to two years, it would balloon up. I was like, I'm good, nah. Because I saw the economy wasn't really peaking, it wasn't going anything, but you're, if you're getting a good deal on a house, you have to ask yourself, is it really a good deal? And then you got a bit lower. So, back to what I'm talking about, because I'm digressing again. And I see how all, I said, I know, I'm going to digress a little more. I noticed a lot of people were digressing in the videos, a lot of people were on the diet trial, just kind of nice, so, back, back to the topic of hand because you don't want me to give you like real life lectures, do you? Well, that's for another day and for another video. Uh, like, okay, now, with the meltdowns over in Europe, people were just getting fed up, and, and, and there's a little independent parties, well, little parties, well, they're not little now because of the situation. You got some parties like, like the, the British Prime Minister, like, here, here's how it is. In, 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 in the UK, England, uh, the British Prime Minister, David Cameron, is shook. Because there's, there's a little party where they're not the liberals, they're not the conservatives. You know, the one, the, the, there's parties that are like um, kind of offshoots of the Tea Party, but they're not really, you know what I mean? But 
they're getting 25 to 27 percent of the vote. Now, if you look at that, they're at least getting a fourth of the vote. So now if you're getting a fourth of the vote, that leaves 75 percent of the vote open. So if you get a majority, you're doing some serious damage. And even if you don't get a majority vote, you have to work now with that 25 percent to get your shit passed through. You know, it's just the same thing in France. Like the end party, like in Britain, the independent party won 27 and a half percent of the vote. And that's when Cameron started shitting bricks. If you notice, Cameron wants some, he wants to, he wants a more, how can I say this? He wants a, oh, he damn near wants out of it. He wants, he wants more flexibility to control the UK over than the, uh, he wants more flexibility to control it than the EU has, you know, I mean, he wants less responsibility coming out of Brussels, more responsibility coming out of London. So, Cameron got shook by this election, and, uh, well, it was the independent party and, 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 and uh, over there, the UK, they had to exit the EU campaign, and like I said, EU ain't doing so hot right now, so what's the popular rhetoric? Okay, it's the EU's fault. So they did, they garnered like almost almost thirty percent. That's almost a third. And the same the same situations in France, like Spain. We got and Spain's having so bad. There's a the Catalina Catalonia the, the Catalonia section of Spain wants to remain autonomous. They want to be their own separate independent thing. Re up on that. I think it's like Catalonia. I'm not sure. I, I know it's one of the problems. Is that the one that's near France. Come on, I got a good old fresh beverage here. This is what keeps me on your losers' asses, and not the way that you want me to be on your asses. You'll never know what this is. Go back to the lecture I had. Like all these exit the EU campaigns means they want more flexibility to do what they want to do and have Brussels come down and dictate what they have to do. But the EU groups, they still dominate because, like I said, it's still a powerful union with all the financial, economic, all economics, all that political thing. It's still, still, still strong. I don't think they're going to exit. It's just a lot of talk. It's just a people who can and stuff. So. I mean, just, just pay attention to all this. Because like I said, it's going to happen over here, which is, is like I said, Canada already got upset. So, it's happening over here. So, I'm done with this video. No, hold on. <coughs> Shout out to the fattest city in the United States, which is Memphis. Memphis is in the building. I got friends in Memphis. Shout out to the fittest city in the in the United States, which is DC. I got family and friends in DC. Shout out to DC. Now, the cities that I'm affiliated with, from either I was born, lived, or have a lot of family members from, I'm gonna rattle these motherfuckers off. Pittsburgh is the 17th fittest city. New York City out of 59, mind you, this was out of 50. New York City was 24. Chicago was 15th. LA was 19th. And the city I live in, Columbus, well, they were they were tenth from the fattest city. If you if you if you come around here, you see not with the fat women anyway, so go figure. So this is a little side note, so I'm done with this presentation. Watch my video catalog, because I, I want to tell you people so if you watch a lot of my videos. Look at the dates. It'll say like X month ago, something years ago. I talk about a lot of stuff that's happening now. I talked about it back then, but you guys didn't want to pay attention to it. And now you guys are paying attention to it, thank you. But what it was, everybody says, well, how did you know about what was going to happen then? It wasn't I just knew. It's history repeats itself. It's just common sense. Plus, like I said, I'm, I'm one of the people. I'm, uh, just because I do this doesn't make me any special. I'm one of the people. I still work with people. I still talk to regular schmucks like myself. So it's just, I know what you're worried about because I am you. I appreciate you watching. So I got to go because I got things to do. No, I got women to see. I got babies to hug and women to kiss. So life of a politician, folks. I'm out. Peace.
you don't get to myself. 